Hey guys, Tom Shu here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a selective vignette inside Lightroom, and if you don't have Lightroom 5, inside Photoshop. A lot of times your subject's not in the center of the frame, and you might need to make an offset vignette. So let's grab this image here, because it's kind of got the subjects off to the side. First of all, let's develop this without ever even touching the slider, because I see the histogram, everything's a little underexposed, and we want full range. So with the develop module selected, I'm just going to grab this at the bottom of the histogram. I'm going to slide it over. I'm just going to slide over this histogram to the right. We're going to grab our whites, pull it over real quick, pull our highlights over, grab our black area, slide it to the left a little bit. And now it looks pretty good. We can turn on our clipping warnings or hover them and see if we've clipped any of that. Now you can see that in the gray area is the luminance. So we haven't really clipped any of that channel, but we are losing a little bit of color. Not a big deal. So here's the problem when you want to create a vignette. If you pull your vignette all the way down on this midpoint, let's pull the feathering off, you can see that we can make it round or oval, but it's never in the center. I'm sorry, it's always in the center. It's not offset. So let's reset that. If we grab our radiant filter or our radial filter and we just draw out kind of a circle, this is going to create a mask. Now, say if we just grab our exposure and our shadows and pull them down, we'll start to create that vignette. Also, you can use clarity and kind of either increase the detail in the background or make it softer like you have a faster lens, maybe a better bokeh. You can see that we can control how this mask is feathered right here with this slider. That's all great if you have Lightroom 5. If you don't, this is what you have to do. We're going to send this into Photoshop. To do so, we're going to hit Control E or Command E on a Mac, where you can right click and say Audit or Edit In, and then choose Photoshop. So let's hand this off and get started. Okay, it's loading up. And what we're going to do is, when it comes in, first thing we're going to do is duplicate the layer. Just for so we have a safety net, so it's Control J or Command J on a Mac, and it's pretty simple. You can uh, use the lasso tool and come in and create a, an outline of whatever you want to be your subject, and then we're going to feather this selection. So we're going to right click and say Feather, and in this case, we'll probably do 80 pixels worth of feather. Now it's going to soften up our selection. Now we need to invert it because right now it's going to only, uh, whatever adjustments we make is going to be affected inside of this selection. We want it to be affected everywhere but inside this selection. So if you hit Control shift i as in India, or Invert, or Command shift i on the Mac, it will invert your selection. And now we can go into this, kind of looks like a, a circle with a line through it, and select Levels. So with Levels selected, we can bring our black point up, we can control our midpoint, so we can just drag that down a little bit. And we control how bright it is right here on the side, on the highlight slider. Maybe it's a little bit too dark here. Something like that looks pretty good. Now, if you want to see what the mask looks like, it's real simple. You just hit the backslash key, and it's going to show you your mask. Now, if you want a little bit more of the flower to be revealed, that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and darken this up just a hair. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, so if we want to adjust this mask, it's real simple. We're going to grab our brush tool, okay, hit the B key, and painting with black on this mask, we can resize our brush and just paint in there and open up that shadow. To hit our selection now, hit the backslash key and you can see the mask. So that's it. Selective vignettes inside Lightroom and Photoshop. So to send this back to Lightroom, we're going to hit Control S or Command S to save. And you can see right here it's going to save it and send it back into our Lightroom catalog. Then we have the image forever and we can process it whenever we want, print it, save it for the web. I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today. Until next time, we'll see you soon.